What do you want me to do? I want to make this video because I want to talk about this guy. I like this guy. He is a really dear-hearted favorite of mine based off of his time throughout every organization that I seem to be interested in. I wanted to make this video, which is why we're going out there and doing it, but before we introduce our player, we have to talk about the Oilers situation with Adam Ernie. Yes, that's right, we are talking about Edmonton. And sure, there was some news dropped earlier today about the Calgary Flames and how they are going to be entering a rebuild without using the word rebuild, but I didn't want to talk about that. We talked so much about how the Flames sucked. Let's talk about some good things now. Let's talk about how things are changing for Edmonton because Adam Ernie has been placed on waivers. And I mean, look, there have been a lot of people that were calling out Ernie throughout the past few games. He was not good this season. Very not good. And as Ahmed goes out there and says, Adam Ernie signing looks even more stupid now than it did before. This is because if you go over to Ernie and his profile, he was signed to a one-year deal, $775,000, 28 years old, 6'1", 212, left wing, right wing player, zero points, six games played. He was not great with the Oilers this season. A lot of people in Oilers Nation are absolutely flaming the hell out of this guy every time he goes out there because he has not been good, and the Oilers tend to agree. They placed him on waivers, and instead, they signed Sam Gagne, who is coming up from the Bakersfield Condors. However, he will need to be signed in order to play with Edmonton, which is what ended up happening. Sam Gagne was signed by the Oilers to a one-year, $800,000 contract, and he's a veteran fourth-line forward. His wins above replacement number is 21%. He doesn't really have any good metrics anywhere, but as a bottom six depth option with leadership qualities, this is a guy that I think changes the picture for the Edmonton Oilers. Gagne, if you needed the history lesson here, because he does go way back, is 34 years old, initially drafted by the Oil, 6th overall in 07. So over a decade ago, he had played with the Oilers, where he was a consistent 40-point guy. He played with the Coyotes, he played with the Flyers, the Blue Jackets, the Canucks, the Oilers again, Detroit, Winnipeg, and now he's in the Oilers system for the third separate time in his career. This is a journeyman, and I'll admit, I really liked Sam Gagne back when he was a Canuck in 2017-18. That was the year with Brock Besser in his rookie season. Thomas Vanek was out here doing really good things. The Canucks then traded Vanek away from Mott. It was a pretty interesting situation there. But Sam Gagne was a player that I think a lot of Canucks fans sort of warmed up to back in this time frame. And then even in Detroit, there was some sort of a veteran presence there. He had 31 points in 81 Wings games just in 21-22. So that's recently, to be honest. So... This guy is a total journeyman. He is signing back with the Oilers. He is probably going to be an upgrade over Adam Ernie as long as he's able to skate. Sam Gagne was never really the fastest guy out there in his career, and especially now at 34 years old, you kind of just hope that his mobility is going to allow him to play at the NHL level consistently. And if he's going out there in a bottom six role, just doing what it is that the Oilers need him to do, just giving assignments, doing assignments, doing the right plays, and giving his leadership as well, because he is pretty old, that is a pretty valuable thing. So, Oilers fans, let me know your thoughts in the comment section below about Sam Gagne coming back to your team. Am I hyperbolizing when I say this changes everything for your squad? Maybe, but I really like this guy, which is why I wanted to make this video. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. I hope you enjoyed this video. And bye.